Revelation 455 from the 8th of June 1938 Grace incarnated Earthly time Time of grace Those who believe that they can enter through the gate to eternal bliss because they have apparently lived righteously on earth and fulfilled their outward duties will be severely disappointed to realize their error for the goodness of the Lord lasts forever, and he does not let his own undiminished in their reward. But those that does not come to him, do not receive a reward. People very often need a reminder not to deem their physical life so important, but to turn more to their spiritual life. But such admonitions usually fade away unheard and unheeded. If now the Heavenly Father demands total commitment from the earthly child and the child does not comply with the divine demand, then it can also never receive the full reward and will have to be content with little or try with all its strength to make up for what it has missed in life on earth. The Father's great kindness grants also in the souls beyond the grace to be able to strive and to put such an attainable goal into its hands. But it should always be considered that an earthly child who are already faithfully devoted to the Heavenly Father, has to be in far higher esteem, because it has applied the time on earth justly in love towards the Saviour and has won a step, which is far more difficult to reach in the hereafter. The time on earth is a time of grace. The embodiment on earth an unspeakably great grace for the soul. But the human being, which makes use of this time of grace, must be infinitely dear to the Lord, and his reward will again be love, which makes him immeasurably happy and brings eternal life. But how is it to be understood that the Lord has less consideration for those who disregarded his word and whose hearts were not so filled with love for God? They can receive only a small reward and they must strive with all their strength to reach the same level, if they want to attain the same degree of eternal bliss, which is granted to the true children of God, who have striven for the childhood of God on earth and are thus also richly considered by the Heavenly Father until all eternity. Amen.